Archaeology. As a mummy, I owe it everything. You can only make the most amazing finds if you're a fearless archaeologist. And there's one archaeologist out of all of them who's the best of the best. I'm talking about my best friend, Tad Jones. Well, okay, so he's the only one I know. But he's brave. He's tough. A hero who... Well, who we all love just the way he is. With all his craziness and impossible treasures.
even though he didn't find the treasure he was hoping for, he got a nice, I'd almost say precious souvenir that will give us a lot to work with. Tad was so absorbed in that rubber chicken that he didn't notice that the beautiful Olmec temple was still crashing down on top of him. And that's when you realize that you should have paid attention in phys ed as well as in archaeology. Luckily, Sarah, Tad's girlfriend loves him, despite his unfortunate knack for finding rubber chickens inside Olmec ruins.
Uh-huh.
And that's how Ooh. Tad discovered how to reach the center of the pyramid and unlock the secret of the Omex, if he survived the collapse. But don't worry, when the going gets tough, an archaeologist like Tad Jones has the determination, the agility, and the strength of his girlfriend Sarah. Always ready to face the dangers hidden in the heart of any pyramid.
When Sarah found Tad, he was chasing his dog, Jeff, who was carrying a mysterious medallion in his teeth. Tad had tried to pass on his love for relics from the past to his dog. But Jeff was into chewology, not archaeology. So, he ate the only relic that Tad had ever found. And then he did what dogs usually do. He ran away. Now, Tad has to catch him. Oh. Hmm.
See, when it comes to archaeology, I'm not the one doing the searching. I'm the one who's being searched for. But even I could see that an Egyptian sarcophagus in an Olmec temple? No way! How is it possible that these two civilizations crossed paths, wondered Sarah and Tad? When the question should have been, how is it possible that Olmec roofs collapse so easily? As the passage closed behind them, a hand opened right in front of them. Brian, Anne, and Ryu had decided that Tad's work experience in Veracruz was over. For good. The good news is that Jeff finally threw up the medallion on the trip to Chicago. <laughs> the bad news was that he had to pick it up with his hands. Ugh. But what really matters is that the story gets exponentially better from here on out. I finally appear. I wanted to show Tad everything I had bought with his Jamazon card, but I didn't get a chance, because no sooner had he walked through the door than the phone rang. The caller was Victoria Moon, the eccentric psychic who believed in talking mummies and all that nonsense. She had a message. Jeff's medallion was the key to unlocking the Egyptian sarcophagus that Tad found in Veracruz. The three archaeologists had hijacked the discovery of the sarcophagus and were going to exhibit it at the University of Chicago. Tad had a golden opportunity to use the medallion to prove who really made the find. All he had to do was sneak onto the campus with the medallion, even if it meant carrying Jeff in his arms, because he had swallowed it again. <laughs> <laughs>